channel viewers to the Prophetic Israel Tour 2016 with Major One Prophet Shepard Bushiri. This is Rema Mapara reporting for Prophetic Channel right here from Oatambo International Airport where we are going to be taking off for Israel with the Major Prophet Major One. We have long awaited this day and it is finally here. There is so much excitement in the air. This is the second group that our Father in the Lord, Major One Prophet Shepard Bushiri is taking on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, Israel. Last year was so amazing, but this year it's even bigger and better. As you can see right behind me, this is the Airbus, the chartered Airbus that is taking us direct straight to Israel and inside are all the people we are about 200 of us it's quite a large number we are all going on this tour with the major prophet because we have understood the prophetic significance of it and our father in the Lord has got so much in store for us we're going to be visiting so many places like Joppa Bethlehem we will be in Nazareth we'll be on the mountain of transfiguration and many other places we are so excited and I'd like you to connect through your TV as we take this tour with a major prophet. Hello there. It's an amazing trip to Israel. I feel so much delighted to say it has been an amazing our time to have you know, wonderful time with the God in Israel. So we are living for Israel right now. Thank you. Hello viewers, this is Rema again. We have just taken off a few minutes ago and we are airborne finally on our way to Israel. I'm so excited, I feel so blessed. It's such a great honor to be traveling to Israel with a major prophet. And I can say I feel very, very, very good and pleased to do a second trip with my father-in-law, Prophet Shepard Bishiri the man whom I love so very much, more than 1,000% love. I've been waiting for this for long. I am extremely blessed. I'm very happy, beyond imagination. I'm blessed and I'm so happy. I'm thrilled to be in the same plane with Major One, Major General. And then it's a privilege for me to be with my papa, my daddy, on the same bus with him, his bus. I am so glad. I am so... Major One, Major G, Major General. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. It's like a dream come true. I've been always wanting to go to Israel and my father made it possible. Major Prophet Shepard Bushir. So I really thank God for the um, for my father major one and really i'm so much excited inside it and we're not just visiting a place whereby it's within south africa or maybe in africa or somewhere it's a place whereby um this is where jesus was born and all those things we read in the bible in the book of act actually it's like seeing the manifestation of the power of god live so i'm really ready for this and my life my spiritual life is gonna go in another level actually me being a worshiper I'm telling you, I'm moving in another level.
Hello, Prophetic Channel viewers. This is Rema Mapara reporting all the way from Israel. We have just landed at the Ben Gurion International Airport right here in Tel Aviv, and it is so exciting. It was a very long flight, about 12 hours in flight, but it finally paid off because we are finally here. This is the moment that we've been waiting for, and the next six days are just going to be so splendid and amazing. And this is the second group that our Father in the Lord, Major One Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, is taking on a tour of the Holy Land, Israel. And some of them are coming actually for the second time. They saw it fit that they be here again because they know the prophetic significance of touring the Holy Land with a major prophet. The next six days are going to be so amazing. And I invite you to join me. I invite you to connect through your TV. I know some of you may not be here physically, but spiritually, Virtually and through prophetic channel you can connect. The place where we are right now, we are standing on Mount Carmel, the same place where Elijah stood years ago when this country was thirsty, thirsty for water, when this country was thirsty, thirsty for rain, they made a mistake and they went after the wrong God. But like then, God send the prophet to show him the truth, to show him the way to the true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is where a showdown took place between Elijah and the prophets of Baal. There was no rain in the land because the people decided that they were going to go and pray towards Baal for rain. Instead of praying, to the one they should have, to the God of their ancestors, to their creator, they went after statues that they made out of their own hands. Influences that came in from a different culture. The valley you see right here in front of us is known as the Valley of Jizrael. The meaning of the word Jizrael comes from two Hebrew names, Isra and El, the plantation of God. And you can see till this day it is used as agriculture and indeed in the season it is the plantation of God. What is special over here that you can see this highway that goes right above a brook, a little green line. And that brook is called the Kishon Brook. And eventually it goes down into the Mediterranean and this same Kishon Brook is the one that collected all the bloods of those false prophets that came to deceive Israel and its people. We watch your fire. We cry out, Lord. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, set on fire. Fill all the world. We have those also who are watching us on Prophetic Channel. Thank you very much for joining us. This is, uh, uh, once again, Mount Carmel, a wonderful mountain, most famous of what God did through Elijah, uh, where he called out fire from heaven. You can see all these people right here. We just, uh, we've just finished calling the fire from above. On your behalf, we're praying here. And we believe there's going to be a fire of God that's going to move in a special way, in a new dimension. That shall bring a revival and God's speech shall move. And in Jesus' name we pray. And God gonna feel you, touch you wherever you are, wherever you're watching us from. This is amazing. Thank you for joining us on Mount Carmel. You can't be with us physically, but through prophetic channel, you are right here on Mount Carmel. God bless you. The place where we are right now 
It is called the Mount of Beatitudes. The Mount of Beatitudes. Now this is the site where according to tradition, Jesus uh, gave the teaching, actually the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, be it, I think in Latin it means blessed. And when he gives the Sermon on the Mount, he starts off with the word blessed, blessed, blessed. A few times he uses this word, uh, eight times. And that is why this place is called Beatitudes, be it. Uh, they would build a church here eventually and it has eight uh, corners to the wall and uh, it's after those uh, eight Beatitudes that uh, the Lord will give the people over him. Hello Prophetic Channel viewers, this is day two of the Prophetic Israel Tour 2016 with Major One, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri, the second group that he's taken on pilgrimage to the Holy Land of Israel. And today we've got quite a tight schedule. We were here at the Mountain of Beatitudes. This is where Jesus Christ gave the sermon on Matthew chapter 5 where he was speaking to the people right here on this mountain. And right now we are moving on and I'd like you to stay connected and join me. Right now, viewers, we have arrived on Tabka, where the Lord performed the miracle of the loaves and the fish. We hear in the Bible that Jesus Christ fed the thousands on two loaves of bread and five fish. He multiplied them. And as we are here, connect to the power of multiplication. Our God is a God of all sufficiency. Everything that is inadequate in your life, God is multiplying it today on this very place. In Jesus' mighty name. 20 AD, Jesus he multiplied these two fish and five barley bread. The people of Capernaum, which is just only two kilometers east of us, okay, they carry big rock and they penetrate it over here. To remember that this is the place where Jesus multiplied the fish and the bread. How many people fed Jesus? Five thousand men. 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 Because according to the book of Leviticus, my dear friends, you have to know women and kids below 13 years old, boys, girls below 12 years old, are not counted okay this is a Jewish law women are not counted boy past 13 years old he's a man he left his childhood and he become a man and this is we call it in Hebrew bar mitzvah okay it's a big holiday for them okay as we count the boy as he's 13 years old as let's say 5,000 men over here half of them are married that means we have another 2,500 women as when we talk about this miracle from where these numbers just came over here, we talk about six, seven thousand has been eight, finish, carry, twelve basket left. Okay, no one can do it. No one can do it unless he have a big power to feed all these people. Mountain. That's where Jesus Christ uh, multiplied fish and he also multiplied bread. We just come from up there, the Beatitudes Mountain, where Jesus Christ said, Blessed are the meek in heart, blessed are the righteous, blessed are the merciful, blessed. So now we are on the mountain where he actually multiplied the fish and he multiplied bread. Amazing experience. You can see outside here. <laughs> That's the mountain. In case you're just reading the Bible, it's so real and so this is the reality. So if you understand the Bible, um, he multiplied the five loaves of bread. And those five loaves of bread prophetically represents the five books of Moses, which is the law. And then two fish, the two fish represents grace and mercy. And the Bible says that they ate and there were 12 baskets left. And the 12 baskets represents the 12 
tribes of Israel. So this was a prophetic moment that just took place on this mountain. And it's um, the only miracle that was recorded by all the five books. It's amazing. And God has a purpose for you. We are now by the Sea of Galilee. As you see behind me, this is the Sea of Galilee, where so many things, significant things in the Bible happened. This is where Jesus Christ calmed the storm. And he also met uh, Peter by the side of this sea after he resurrected from the dead. And he asked Peter, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, Lord, I do. And he, he commissioned him and say, then feed my sheep. So many things happened here. And right now we're having this opportunity. It's a great privilege and honor to be sailing on the same sea that Jesus sailed with his disciples. And we're waiting to get into the boats where our Father and the Lord is going to have a service with us. It's going to be a very great and amazing service. Stay tuned and remain connected. Uh, my name is Richard Martin. I'm coming from South Africa. I just thought to say, let me come and experience the things that happened in the Bible physically. So that's when I decided to say, let me come on this tour with the Major Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. All right, great. Um, and we've been to several places today, the Mountain of Beatitudes and to the place where Jesus Christ multiplied the fish and the bread. Tell me, how was your experience there? Oh, my, the experience was so wonderful. I, I can't believe myself that I've, my feet my two feet are in this land. I tell you, my life will never be the same as I leave this place. Amen, amen. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God bless you too. Yeah, my name is uh, um, Henry Kauham. I'm the resident pastor for ECG Ndola in Zambia. Um, so, man of God, that's amazing. We've been here for two days now. We've been to Mount Carmel, Mountain of Beatitudes, and the place where Jesus Christ multiplied the fish and the bread. Can you tell me, how is your experience so far? Wow, well, my experience has been so wonderful. Uh, it's like uh, walking through the Bible itself. You know, we have just been seeing it, you know, and believing in it uh, spiritually, but now it has become so real, so visible to me. All the places that I've visited so far, um, I've claimed my, my blessings, and um, I believe my life, my family, and the church where I'm pastoring for my father, Major One, it will never be the same. Amen. And so we are here by the Sea of Galilee. We are about to set sail and we'll have a service with the Major Prophet. Tell me your expectation. My expectation is actually to enjoy and um, just receive more blessings. As I say, on the Sea of Galilee, and just, just reflect on what happened when Jesus was uh, sailing on the same sea. Um, I would like to connect spiritually. I'm not just here for fun, but I just want to to connect and look at the Bible and just see myself there right now. And I believe it too. It's a wonderful experience. Yeah, Amen. And, and man of God, as you're connecting, what message do you have for our viewers who are connecting through Prophetic Channel? Well, my message to the viewers is that um, this is a wonderful place to be. Uh, we are here um, representing you as well. As you watch us live and direct on Prophetic Channel, I want you to remain connected and tap the grace of the major prophet. Uh, whatever we are claiming here is not just for ourselves, but even for you over there as you are watching Prophetic Channel, I believe God is going to change your story as well. So stay connected to remain protected. My name is Estelle and I'm coming from uh, the US. I'm coming from uh, New Jersey and uh, it's great to be here. Oh, so all the way from New Jersey with the major prophet for a tour here. Tell me, what made you to come to that decision? Well, uh, Israel has always been a dream for me. So when Papa announced that he was having this prophetic uh, trip, I couldn't resist and I had to do it. And uh, to be here with him is just such an amazing experience. And I'm glad I didn't come last year without him. And I'm so, so grateful we're here this year and to enjoy whatever we've been seeing so far. It's been great and I love it. Everybody should do that. My name is Valemia. And I'm coming from the U.S., but originally from Cameroon. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Ma'am, you've been here. This is our second day. Can you tell me so far, how has the tour been? The tour has been very, very exceptional. There is just so many things I have seen and that I will still see that makes me feel really grateful that I had this opportunity to come here and experience this land that Jesus walked on.
Amen. And ma'am, I know that as you're here, your life would definitely never remain the same again. You're here with the major prophet. Your life has already begun changing. What message do you have for the viewers who are not able to come here but are connecting through Prophetic Channel? For the viewers, I would say everything has its time. It is definitely an honor to be able to experience this trip with Papa Major Prophet Shepard Bushiri. For the viewers who are still hoping, what I can tell you is to stay encouraged. At God's time, you would make the trip because I had always longed to come to Israel, but I guess it was not the right time for me. So at the right time, the circumstances would be correct and the opportunity would be presented to you. And I will advise everybody who has a chance to not miss this chance of a lifetime. It is definitely a life-changing experience. It's very peaceful, very calm, beautiful environment. And for me, I know I would never see life again the same after this experience, knowing that Jesus, this is where he grew up, where he lived, where he ministered. It is definitely going to affect me forever. So I would advise everybody to not pass upon, upon any opportunity that is given you to visit Israel. This time I I've never seen a sky glow. This time I go. Blessed be a holiness. Blessed be a holiness. Come on, everybody. This time I go. I've never seen a sky glow. every now and again because of that passage right behind us the Arbel Pass it kind of tunnels the wind sometimes and within moments you can get a storm here on this lake and that happened once to the disciples and they saw Jesus coming himself walking on the water you know we Jews it's something we have in common with people from Africa we are just not good swimmers so sometimes it's good to have somebody walking on the water. Other examples, we came out of the Red Sea once and we didn't swim through, but God opened the waters instead. The final thing that happened amongst many other miracles that if we say a while, we'll probably be here till tomorrow. But one more was on a boat just like this with a crew just like this. These are local Galileans and uh, so was Peter. And Peter decided once that he would be going fishing. And he came out here to this boat, to a boat on this lake, and he fished all night long on the northern shores of this lake. And he was able to catch nothing. 
But then he saw a figure on the beach. And this man told him, why don't you throw your net on the other side of the boat, on the right side? And Peter must have thought, my gosh, I've been here all night long. Don't you know the fish don't come in the morning? But nevertheless, he obeyed and he listened. And when he did so, he was blessed with a lot of fish, 153. And the net did not tear even so. Now I believe uh, there's some fishermen on this boat. Hello everybody, shalom. And look, he has a net in his hand. Friends, do you like to fish? Yes. You see, this is a net. This is nylon net, modernic net. And down I have like small stone because the net need close in the water and take a, take a fish and give out. Now I show you how it's work. One, two, three. You see, now the net closed in the water. If go there fish, it fish today. If no, eat chicken. <laughs> Friends, I know the fish this side. You must cast in the deeper side. I try the other side. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. One, two, three. Yala, fishy, fishy, fishy. Something. Why, 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 why? What's this? Is this something, friend? Why, 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 why? Jesus said. I want you to know one thing. This is not by faith, but this is by sight. Amen. The Bible says, Blessed are you who believe, even though you have it seen with your eyes. You believe before you saw anything. You believe that is Israel. You believe that is that is uh, there's God. You believe that there's a there's God in you. You believe. But you didn't see them physically, and here we are seeing these places physically. I want to raise up a hand and confess this confession with me. Say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the grace, thank you for the grace that you brought on us, that you brought on us, and by your mercy, and by your mercy, and by your grace, and by your grace, Jesus died for us, Jesus died for us for forgiveness of our sins, for forgiveness of our sins. O oh Lord, oh Lord, as I'm here, as I'm here on this sea of Galilee, on this sea of Galilee where, physically, where physically our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ had, much of his ministry. had much of his ministry. Father, Father we, connect ourselves we connect ourselves to the grace, to the grace proclaimed on this area. Proclaimed on this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, Father may, our visit may our visit not just be a tour, not just be a tour but a spiritual point of contact. A spiritual point of contact. Change our faith. Change our faith. Increase our faith. Increase our faith. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say this to everyone here. Zechariah 14, verse 17. And it shall be that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. Did you hear that? Whosoever shall not come from all over the world to come and worship God on this in Israel, they shall be cursed. God says that. The word shall be no rain, that's a word of a curse. Blessed are those who bless Israel. Yes. Or oh, did you hear that somebody? Yes. Whosoever. Now, this rain may be two kinds of rain. Remember the latter rain? You hear that? Did you remember the latter rain? Yes. So this rain may be a spiritual rain. And this rain may be a physical rain like a curse. Now, which means if you have come here 
there shall be a rain of the spirit raining upon your life. He says, whosoever shall will not come up of all the families of the earth. Of the earth. Whosoever shall not be a partaker to visit this area we are visiting and the other areas and this land of Israel. Jerusalem. The Bible says, whosoever shall not visit, there shall be no rain. Don't you see you are so much blessed? Yes. Oh, yes. Every case which was upon your life, yes. just visiting this area, it is broken in the name of Jesus. It's broken. And lucky enough, you have been taken to come here by a prophet. No curse shall remain on your life in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. God is removing every power and every call of every curse. You are no longer under a curse. You are no longer under the law, but the grace of God has taken over your life. And the Bible says, whosoever shall not come from all over the families of the earth, not just come on this is a way of a prophecy and what i read in isaiah it says what it says they shall say to one another let's go to israel they shall come and worship god on these mountains and that's what we are doing the bible says do not be hearers of the way but be doers you visiting here is to doing the world oh, am i talking to someone right here it's more than what i've spent it's more than what we have spent. You can't, you can't compare it. Even if you spend one million dollars to come here, if you have a spiritual meaning, you can't complain for spending 20 million dollars to come in this land. This is the way our faith is. And by your own information, when Jesus Christ is coming, everyone, whether you like it or not, who will pass through Israel, everyone, if you don't, he's going to stand on the mountain here in Israel. And I think we will go to Jerusalem. Yeah. We will see the mountain where when Jesus Christ is coming, he will stand on that mountain. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the Messiah will stand on that mountain. Oh, am I might talk to someone right here. He will not stand on the mountain in South Africa. He will not stand on the mountain in Limpopo. There's a mountain when he's coming, he's going to stand. Oh, oh, I want to speak with somebody. With a voice of triumph, I want to speak with somebody. And we're going to have one king. And all those things are supposed to know them. And we're going to have a wonderful experience here. But praise be to God that we have visited our land. We have visited a place of milk and honey. The holy land. Oh, I want to speak with somebody. I want to stand up because we want to pray now. I want you to pray and connect yourself to Israel. I want to tell God, God help me. I want to connect myself to the blessing that is on this land. Raise up your hands. Just raise up your hands. I want us to pray. Just give yourself to God. Tell God I connect to man. I am on, on the Sea of Galilee. Lord, I'm praying your blessing. I'm not just in a normal land. I'm not in a Babylon. I'm not in Iraq. I am in Israel. In your land, that God spoke of this land, He calls it His own land. And God is saying He shall punish the one who shall divide His land. Let's pray. Claim the blessing of God on this land, on the Sea of Galilee. Let's pray as we are on the Sea of Galilee. Connect yourself in the mighty name of our God, our Lord. In Jesus' name, Yeshua. Pray in the name of the Lord. 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 And through the world And far as great I wonder And hear the birds Sweet, sweet, we hear the breeze When I look down
everybody. Close your eyes together. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my. from Sweden. Uh, my name is Asmerus. I'm coming from Stockholm, also Sweden. Okay, you're coming from so far. Can you tell me what made you decide to come on this tour with the major prophet? When I saw that uh, the prophet was coming, actually for me it's my fourth time, I thought this, this I can't miss. That was my reaction and my sister here, she pushed it a little more. So we are here and we are so blessed. Amen. And can you tell me you were sailing across the Sea of Galilee? Like Jesus said with his disciples, you were sailing with the prophet. How was that experience for you? This, this one, it was absolutely, if I compare with the last one I had, it was uh, absolutely spiritual, totally different. And I felt the Holy Spirit moving, moving when the prophet was on the stage, or uh, I mean uh, on the pulpit with the microphone. Uh, I think it, I, I felt that it is not the same. Absolutely not the same that uh, the one I was in several years ago. My name is Rachel and I live in Sweden, originally from Eritrea. All right, that's great. Uh, Mom, you've been here for the tour. This is our day two in Israel. Can you tell me how has it been so far for you? It's been a great blessing. It's life changing. I will never forget this. Amen. And right now you are just coming from the boat where we had a service with a major prophet sailing across the Sea of Galilee. How did that feel, sailing the same sea that Jesus sailed with his disciples? I felt it in every bone in my body. It was, uh, the spirit was there. I could really feel it. I, was feel, I felt like I was following Jesus' footsteps, definitely. And with major one, it's just you can't really wish for anything more.